intensity and enormity of doctrines and truths taught in Doctrine and Covenants section 93 is mind-blowing. To explain it, we'll share two true and very connected stories. Once upon a time, there were two children. The first child started life here, or at least that's the part of the story we're most familiar with. However, this child actually began life not here, but in the pre-mortal world as the firstborn of our Heavenly Father. With God's power, He created the earth, the worlds, and all things in them. The Father chose Him to be our Redeemer, the messenger of salvation, the spirit of truth, and the light of the world, and He accepted. Yes, this is Jesus Christ, whom the Father gave of His fullness and power. But to fulfill God's eternal plan of salvation, this literal Son of God chose to come to earth as a man and to start life as an innocent baby. Phenomenal cosmic power! In an itty bitty living space, in a manger, in a stable. Now, like any other baby, Jesus totally had to rely on His parents for love, food, and shelter. He had to learn to eat, to crawl, to walk, and to speak. He learned quickly, and as he developed his relationship with his earthly and heavenly parents, he grew from grace to grace, so much so that by the time he was 12, he'd received enough knowledge to teach the spiritual leaders of the people in the temple. In that experience, we get Jesus' first recorded words when he told his earthly parents, don't you know that I must be about my father's business? He continued to learn until he started his mortal ministry and was baptized by his cousin John. As recorded, the heavens were opened, the Holy Ghost descended upon Jesus, and a heavenly voice declared, This is my beloved Son. He then received his Father's greater gifts and powers and officially began his earthly ministry. As we know, Christ lived his mortal life as a perfect example for us to follow, and it ended the way he knew it had to with His atoning sacrifice, crucifixion, and resurrection. He then returned to heaven and works there with Heavenly Father for our salvation. Okay, I know most of us already knew that, but what about the other baby? Ah, yes, who is the other baby? Well, it's you. Many things about our lives are similar to Christ's life, and we can follow His example throughout our journey. Like Him, we were also in the beginning with the Father, we started as intelligences before we became spirits. When we lived in heaven, we used our agency to learn and progress until it was our turn to come to earth. We all arrived here as infants, completely innocent because of Christ's redemption. We received the great gift of a body, a tabernacle for our spirits. We too relied on our parents for love, food, and shelter. But we were also given two gifts. The light of Christ, sometimes called a conscience, to prompt us about right and wrong, and the gift of agency to accept or reject that light. Now, just like he tried with Jesus, Satan tempts us and tries to take away that light and truth, so we'll be miserable like him. So, it's our job on earth to come to know Christ as he came to know the Father, grace for grace. We do this by diligently keeping commandments, praying always, and obtaining knowledge as well as following Christ's example and teachings by loving others, having faith, repenting, being baptized, and making and keeping covenants throughout our lives. We may even have the opportunity to become parents ourselves to continue this cycle of learning, growing, and teaching. In section 93, the Lord makes it clear that both mothers and fathers are to be actively involved in raising their children in light and truth and teaching them correct principles that lead them to Christ just as He leads us to the Father. Like the Savior, after we leave this earth, we'll one day be resurrected, where our spirits and the elements of our body will be reunited. And if we live worthy throughout our lives and seek repentance, we may also be glorified and receive a fullness of joy. Then, in the celestial kingdom, we can receive an inheritance with Christ and see God's face and know that He is. Okay, so what mind-blowing things did this section teach us? Where we came from, why we're on earth, where we can go after we die, and 
Christ's role in providing the way for us to follow. Yes, life is eternal and started before we came to earth and continues after we leave. Most, if not all of this knowledge is lost to millions of people on earth. And so it's our opportunity to share it with all who will listen, both during this life and after we die. Next time, we'll learn more about the importance of temples where we can gain additional light and truth. It takes a lot to make these videos, so to keep Line Upon Line free for everyone, consider donating. The link's in the description below. And thanks for watching. This episode is packed with info, so you might want to watch it again to make sure you didn't miss anything, including the hilarious jokes. If you feel this video has helped you on your path towards truth and Christian discipleship, please subscribe and share. Most importantly, go read the scriptures for yourself.